Hello and welcome back to Tesla News. My name is Marian and I'm your host today. I'm glad to have you back here on my channel. In the past few days, there were rumors that the new Silver is actually going to be a test vehicle. Those cars won't be delivered to customers, but that is not the case. We clearly see that the new Silver, there are three in the back on the right side. We have another four here on the left side in the front. So it's clearly being delivered to customers. That is a very good sign. We have been waiting for the new color for a long time. And I got more information that are not 100% proof yet. I still have to get them confirmed. But there's rumors that the new red will take another two to three months until they will start producing that color. So it's a taking a bit more time as we all expected. Now, continuing with the growth rate of Tesla, we see that Tesla is at 40 to 50 percent. We know that Tesla might go to 48 to 49 percent this year compared to all the other companies like Apple, Microsoft, Amazon. This is a huge difference. Again, to be fair to those other companies, they are by revenue much bigger than Tesla at the moment, at least. So it's much harder to grow at such a scale like Tesla is doing right now. But I do expect it to continue um, over the next few years, as Tesla has been stating by themselves as well in the earnings call. Now, if we look into the European market, it's very interesting. We don't have a 50% growth rate yet. We see in the on the top 23% towards the last year in comparison um, until October. Again, this is also due to the um, very bad quarter in Q2 where there were mostly no cars coming from China. And now as well, Giga Berlin ramping, this should really help in 2023 to in general on the European market, make it possible to actually sell and grow over 50%. Um, we are still at a very small number. Um, I do expect that to quickly pick up here with production Giga Berlin and exports coming from Shanghai. It should move towards three to four hundred thousand um, in the next year and a half at least. Now we have as well Neo shifting to the intention to short range form and long range batteries. So. The key point here is that some car makers are trying to build very huge batteries and this is not so sustainable and we would like to see more car makers like Tesla build a small battery but make the energy density work and have a good range. And this is pretty much what NEO is doing right now as well. Um, they are trying to reduce the size of the battery, um, achieve a very good range on that. And with that, they can actually save a lot of resources like Tesla is trying to do as well. They are like BMW and Mercedes who are trying to advertise their huge range, but they have as well very big batteries and this is not as sustainable. Now let's look into the installations of new solar, new wind. And we clearly see here in 2021 where the trend is going. And in Europe right now in the energy crisis, there's a lot of um, lobbyism for nuclear. I don't believe too much into nuclear. I think if we move forward, um, we can actually solve our um, energy issue with wind and solar. That is my personal opinion. Um, the only thing that we are all lacking on, and this is the same in Germany and Europe and in general in the world, is the battery uh, batteries to save all the energy from the peak hours. So like Tesla is working on mega packs, that is the key to success. But this is something many people have not understood yet. The lobby is trying to ignore that and trying to um, tell people, well, um, wind and solar is not possible because um, you won't have any energy once the wind is gone or the um, sun is not shining. But this is um, very uh, a very bad way as they are ignoring the potential of um, having battery storage. Um, again, lobbyism is very strong right now in Europe, we must honestly admit. And um, I hope that with um, battery production and more capabilities when it comes to storage, um, we will see um, that those people are wrong and being convinced otherwise. Looking into the 4680 battery energy density, on the other hand, um, based on a video here, we can see that it is actually uh, close to the 2170 cells of Panasonic. That is already a good achievement. But again, 
we were actually expecting even more. So it's on the same level right now, but I think we will move forward and by time achieve the goals that Tesla had um, with the 4680 cells, especially when it comes to energy density. Um, I think that is just the beginning, but it's already a good sign that we are at the same level as Panasonic. When it comes to the cost per vehicle board in Q2, it was the highest so far um, in the past years. And Q3 is actually declining already and Q4 should continue to that because Austin and Berlin are ramping production, the efficiency and the profit per car, or on the other hand, in this case, the cost per car should be in general on the average side um, over the entire company Tesla decrease further and come back hopefully to the levels of 35,000 cars. Again, the average cost is also declining because of course Model S and Model X are not having such a huge impact anymore based on the total number Tesla is selling. Now the United States is aiming to only sell and produce zero emissions medium and heavy duty vehicles like school buses, tractor trailers by 2040. We can pretty much say the Democratic Party and Biden after they had um, yeah, surprising um, success in the midterms, um, not having the majority in um, all parts of the areas. But um, again, they can continue um, to try to make new um, laws to um, move the United States into um, the green energy area. And I think it is um, they are on a good way to do so. Now a look into Tesla insurance. We have just launched in Minnesota and Tesla will further continue to expand. They are now in 12 US states covering a population of nearly 136 million people, about 40.9% of the US population. Um, please let me know if you are from the US, for example, and do you enjoy the insurance of Tesla. In Germany, we have lots of skepticism because there are a lot of other companies as well charging a very, very low rate. Um, so the question is how competitive or how willing is Tesla to decrease the prices to a level where they are competitive with the competition out there? Um, just let me know um, your thoughts on Tesla insurance. If you are planning to use Tesla insurance once it is in your country or if you have already chosen to do so, it's a very interesting business and I think it's a smart move to make a lot of money because Tesla is the company that is really aware of their own cars. They do know how they behave. So thank you very much for being here today again um, on my channel. If you have been new to my channel, do consider subscribing. I would really appreciate that. And we will continue with more reporting from Europe tomorrow. Thank you.